It's my catfish sandwich with a chipotle lime slaw. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get some flour over here on the first one. A little bit of flour. And check it out, some chili powder. And this is gonna be the beginning dredge. This is what's gonna stick to the fish. A little chili powder and a little black pepper. Okay, this is what's gonna have first contact with the fish. Secondly, a little whole grain mustard. And the whole grain mustard is gonna go with a little beer, a little nice, uh, rich beer. You get that really great mustard flavor. You get the richness of the beer. You get the tanginess of the mustard, the sweetness of the beer. All these things going on, killer. Watch this little trick. Right underneath the hand, boom, Yahtzee. Okay, there we go. A little dark beer in there on that. And then, to make this whole, uh, this whole battering process go on, a little panko breadcrumb here. Oh good, I did have enough, okay? And these, a Japanese breadcrumb, really light, crunchy, holds onto the fish really well. It doesn't get soggy, it doesn't get matted and cakey. Okay, some granulated garlic. Some paprika. Wow, that's some good looking color on that, huh? I always keep some fresh ground black pepper off to the side. Nice uh, helping of that. Some salt, and there we are. All three are ready to go. Look at the color coming out of that. That'll really shine nice. Okay, so we get all this separated. The star of the show, these beautiful catfish fillets. Nice and tender, but firm. Not overly fishy in their taste. I think they go great in gumbo, jambalaya. It's gonna work fantastic in the sandwich on this nice Cuban roll. I mean, it's gonna be quite the presentation. So we get this. Let me mix this up. Okay. Dredge this through here. Like that. There's my tray. Now into the beer. So the flour sticks to the fish. Now we get some of that great beer flavor and that mustard sticking to the flour. And then boom, into the panko, over the top like that. And I did not do my wet hand, dry hand. So as my son Hunter would say, I am now going to have uh, Hulk fingers. They'll start building up. That's all right, I'm only doing four fillets. And what I'm gonna do is set them on this rack and let them dry out a little bit. And what happens, that helps the, uh, the breadcrumbs adhere. And you see I'm really packing it on there. Okay, this is gonna let the breadcrumbs adhere better, so when I fry it up, it's gonna give this nice, crunchy, stick to it kind of batter. Nobody flaking and falling off in this. Okay, some onions, red onions, some green onions, some red bells, some nice cabbage, and all this is gonna go together for this fantastic slaw that's gonna go on top of these catfish fillets that I have dredged in basically everything I have in the fridge and in the pantry. All right, get all this stuff down. There we go. Now, this is gonna be the delicious chipotle lime slaw. And this is going to uh, marinate in the fridge for a little bit. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, I gotta get a little bit of cilantro down in there as well. Let me just get a little piece of this out. Just a touch. Now, the chipotle pepper, of course, plays a nice piece in this. And you know on GBB that I love my chipotle peppers. But especially because when I'm thinking about being down in La Manzanilla, you know, my chill spot just kind of goes hand in hand. Okay, some mayo, some sour cream and some chipotles in adobo. Oh, one of my favorite things ever. I'm not kidding you. You know, at Chipotle, uh, being a smoked jalapeno pepper, they had to have a way to preserve the pepper back in the day, so they would smoke it, they would dry it out. Well, then they reconstitute it by making this adobo, which is kind of like a spicy vinegar sauce uh, made with tomatoes, and oh, it's so dynamite. I mean, it just goes hand in hand with all kinds of great Mexican or Southwestern food. So a half cup of the sour cream in my precise measuring techniques here on GBB. Okay, uh, let me get you a little salt. Well, actually, a little pepper, a little salt. Chipotle's are a little small on this one, so I'm just gonna kind of use two on this one. Chop it up. Want to get as much of that sauce in there as I can. Okay, and as I said, that adobo's got the uh, tomato sauce and vinegar, uh, a little bit of salt in there to kind of reconstitute them and preserve them. Okay, so that's in. Now, here we go. Microplane, take the uh, zester, get some of the lime zest in there. Not going down too far, just getting the top piece there, and then take it and getting the juice. The juice by itself just doesn't say lime enough. Now, I'm gonna put some lime juice, and I'm gonna put some white vinegar. And why the white vinegar? Well, you know, the vinegar kind of gives that real distinctive flavor and says, I am slaw. And the, uh, and the, and the lime juice has kind of the citrusy, uh, acidic side to it. So 
a couple tablespoons of that, and I think this will work out great. Okay, and before I go any farther, let me get a little bit of sugar in there too. Kind of bringing all the all the flavors together. Okay, so mix this up. Let this kind of uh, hang out for a second, and then I'll pour it on top of that slaw mixture and pop that in the fridge. Cast iron skillet's ready to go, and uh, we've only got about a quarter inch, a little bit more of oil in there, and these catfish fillets are ready to go downtown. Now, these are gonna go down, I'm only gonna put two in at a time. Even though the cast iron really retains heat well, this is great for doing fried chicken, by the way, I don't wanna put uh, too much in at one time, have them steam each other and lose some of the spreading. So in, nice and easy. Look at that, about halfway up, and another one. That's a hearty portion of catfish, I may say. Okay, so we'll let that bubble over like that. Let's take a minute here and, and turn these over and see if they're ready to go. I don't wanna mess with them a lot. Actually, I don't wanna use tongs. I wanna use some kind of a spatula and see if this is ready to go over. I really wanna make sure that the, that the crust, the crunch is really set up on that other side. So let me take a look here. All right, that bad boy's ready to go over for sure. There we go. And over on this one. Nice golden brown. Look at that. A little Cuban roll, toasted it there with some butter. Actually grab some of this slaw, throw that right on top of this, this chipotle lime slaw that I made. Fantastic. Let me grab a cochillo, look at that thing. And what we're gonna, look at this. I just gotta check it out. I wanna see what it looks like from the side here. It's enough to feed three people just one sandwich. Take a look at that. Let me get into a bite of this. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. Hey, dynamite. 